Stop pretending that those who violate the bravest of us. Stop pretending that those who destroy our liberty, who extort us on the side of the road, who guard the courtrooms with judges of terror and treason. Stop pretending that those men and those who stand beside them, no matter how polite or nice they may seem, stop pretending they're heroes, that they're righteous, or that they're protectors. They're criminals, they're terrorists, and they are treason. We don't need to say angry. We don't need to, to, to lose control. We don't need to go out saying F the police. We need to face toe to toe with them with a camera in our hands on the street and we need to say, what's wrong with you? What do you think you're doing? You violate people for a paycheck? You guard these courtrooms and you watch this violation of due process for a paycheck? You stand around with your buddies convincing them yourselves that you're the hero of the story and then you get in your car and you go chase people down the road and destroy their lives when there's no victim and no crime except for the ones that you have made up? You coward. I pity you. You need to get in the cop's face. That's how we stop the police. We stop the cops by doing what everybody calls me rude for doing, because that's why the police and the system are working so hard to demonize people like me and others when we stand up to them on the street. You've got to stand up with principle to the foot soldier on the street. And I've seen more of this. I'm seeing more and more people take their cameras. They're speaking out. They're exposing what's happening to them and their friends in the courtroom. They're airing the dirty laundry. They're walking up to the officer on the street and saying, shame on you. They're walking up to the officer on the street and saying, what do you think you're doing? Why are you violating instead of protecting? And you need to start doing that. Our voice is power. It's a sword. And if you take your voice and your camera all throughout history, People wanted to have a voice so they could speak out of the injustices done to them. And now we have, we have the greatest media platform in history in our pockets and we're not using it with courage and boldness. So I'm asking you all to start stopping when you see police with other people stopped. To start pulling out your camera, rolling down your windows and watching them. To start walking up to the officers as they strut around like, like cockatoos thinking they're heroes and saying, you're not a hero until you start defending our rights. You're not a hero until you stop the bad cops. You're not a hero until you stop writing the extortion and stop arresting people for fake crimes and for possession of this or that or fake federal laws because real law, real law is life, liberty, and property. Next time you see a cop, I want you to stop. I want you to observe him. I want you to pull out a camera. I want you to live stream it. I want you to make it normal because there's one thing. This is how they've sold us tyranny. I'm going to close with this. They've sold us tyranny by making us think it's normal and telling us it's freedom. And there's no greater slave than the slave who thinks that he is free.